Hello, horse racing fans. Welcome to our Preakness episode of our long shot play for the Preakness Stakes on Saturday, May 18th at Pimlico Racecourse. So, of course, we have a small field in here of nine horses. We were hoping to get about 10 or 12. Um, got a few uh, Kentucky Derby runners that are trying it again on the short rest, um, coming in to face Muth, the Bob Baffert trained horse, who's probably going to be heavily favored and heavily bet in this grade one stakes race for the Preakness. We're giving you our long shot play in here. Um, a horse that we kind of like, depending on what the weather is going to be right now. It looks to be possibly heavy slop, heavy mud. Um, looking for rain on that Saturday. So we will see um, playing into this of how we kind of attack this small field. Um, looking for some type of a price angle in here to beat out, obviously, Muth. And Mystic Dan, who are going to be one and two of our, the top two horses. So right away, looking right off onto the rail on the inside, you have Uncle Heavy. Okay, so the horse currently probably going to be about 20 to 1, maybe a little bit higher odds. Um, what we like, the horse coming off of this muddy track back in February at Aqueduct, uh, winning the Withers in there, um, did not have much class to run into El, El Grande, oh, and Lightline. There wasn't a whole lot of horses that came out of the withers um, that made an impact in any of the other prep races or in the Kentucky Derby. Uncle Heavy does come out of the wood, um, beating out, getting beat by Resilience in there, finished fifth. Um, I think just kind of ran into a lot um, in that race. Does to be a horse that's going to come from off the pace a little bit. Um, Speed, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of early speed um, in this race currently. Um, looking at it, I think if anybody wants to upset Muth, that's what that's how they're going to have to do this, is go to the lead um, and try to beat out the other Baffert in imagination. Um, and Uncle Heavy's getting Irad Ortiz aboard. Um, so that's kind of a big uptick for this horse. Uh, Robert Reed um, is the trainer. Um, this is out of social inclusion, Pioneer of the Nile. Um, two for one so far in 2024. Lifetime five and three. Um, so broke its maiden at Parks wins a $200,000 stakes race at Parks. Um, going a mile and 70. And then goes into the grade three withers. Wins that on an off muddy track. Um, and again, turns right around in that wood. Um and just really doesn't fire. Um, tries to come back or tries to close. Just doesn't have anything to close into. Um, and I think, you know, Irad sets this horse up a little bit better. Um, since it's sitting it a little closer to the lead would help this horse with that um, little bit of a bigger late kick. Um, as you can see, late speed right now is currently a 95. It is a little bit off from some of these other late runners. But look at the workouts. Um, going four, five furlongs here and there, five furlongs in 101, four and 47. So the workouts look pretty good. Um, again, the horse is well rested. April 6th was the last race. Again, at 20 to 1, this one is a stab here um, for a pretty good win place or show wager. Um, if it's an off track, as you can see, we got the wet wet in here for two for two. So far, I believe at 84 career, yes, 84 career best. Speed figure on the off track. Um, so definitely one that could come in on that type of slop and steal this race. Because some of these other horses are outside of Mystic Dan and possibly Just Steal. On an off track, it's kind of a question mark right now. So Uncle Heavy, currently one of our sneaky long shot plays um, in here um, at 20 to 1. Probably going to get it bet just because of Irad. Being aboard, but there's going to be some other horses. Definitely take some money in here with the likes of Muth, Mystic Dan, and obviously Imagination. Um, another price in here. Catching Freedom is interesting, but not necessarily a big long shot. Same thing with Tuscan Gold. Uh, both of these trained. Uh, we have Brad Cox and Ch Chad Brown. Tuscan Gold, lighter raced horse, comes out of the Louisiana Derby. Um, if this horse gets up to 10, 12 to 1, this, this horse is worth a stab in here. Um... Coming off of a mile and three, three sixteenths um, in that Louisiana Derby, finishing third again was behind Catching Freedom and Anna Marie. 
Um, so one that's in a good vein of form, has some pretty good speed, um, has a good late kick um, and some early speed to sit close to the lead in here. Um, it's just going to be tough to see who's going to go um, to challenge one of the Baffert runners out early. More than likely, it's going to be Muth and Imagination kind of sitting up outside of each other. And if anybody can get up there to press, then we could have a hell of a race set up here. Um, you have Seize the Gray, Just Steel, who possibly could go, go up and try to press. Probably Just Steel is the one of the D. Wayne Lucas horses that could come in and press. Um, however, both of these horses are coming off of pretty uh, short rest for Dwayne Lucas, and I think it's like 0 for 15 was one of the stats. Um, we just retweeted um, on our X or Twitter. Um, so again, the big turnaround is just a big struggle right now for a lot of horses. Muth, obviously the horse that's in in the best shape, coming off a pretty good rest. Um, outside of that, um, it, it's tough to find. Tuscan Gold. Again, like I said, would probably be a pretty good price in here. 95 speed figure in that Louisiana Derby. Seems to be a horse that's getting better. Workouts are decent. We'll get Tyler Gafflion again aboard for Chad Brown. Um, kind of a sneaky one that's kind of last minute entered in here. Uh, one to kind of watch to see what happens leading up. Um, I think an off track, this horse will be fine. Uh, pedigree should be able to handle the muddy track. Um, and again, that early speed kind of will set up, or the press speed should set up for Tuscan Gold to be a pretty good presser in here. That's what it's going to take. I mean, if somebody's going to let Muth walk or, or kind of just sit right off the side imagination, I mean, there, nobody else is going to touch him. Um, if we can get somebody to kind of press the pace or get out to the lead with instead of Muth or imagination, then this becomes a whole new ball game and a whole new <laughs> betting race for the betters. Um, Imagination, 6-1 to one again. Probably going to take some money because, again, it seems like the other Baffert always burns a lot of better, so people are going to stick to this horse. Um, ran second to Stronghold, who did make the Derby, so does another one that's coming off a pretty good rest. 6-1, um, to one, though, um, it's kind of hot, kind of cold. Um, workouts have been pretty decent. Um, but I think, you know, the value in here is Tuscan Gold, lighter raced horse, um, increasing on speed figures, getting better each out. Um, the workouts look really good right now. Um, has a really good trainer in Chad Brown. Has won this race twice. Tyler Gaffleone sticks with the mount, uh, making its fourth career start. So that's definitely, um, you know, a horse that's coming in rested, um, that's getting better, that's in great form. And again, off track should be able to handle it well. And our big, as of now, long shot play of an off track is at number two, Uncle Heavy, at 20 to 1 with Irad Ortiz. It's going to be muddy, more than likely. It's just, will he set a little bit closer to the, to the lead instead of getting buried? If it is a muddy track, it's going to be hard to sit that far back. But he's done it before. And again, he's got one of the most aggressive riders in Irad Ortiz. So 20 to 1 in this type of race, what could be an off track this is kind of worth a stab at a win place show bet. So there's our kind of two long shot contenders uh, for the Preakness Stakes. Again, May 18th, Saturday at Pimlico. Uh, big race, I believe, race 13 on a 14 race card. Um, we thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below, like our videos. We will be putting out our full Friday and Saturday betting cards for you guys as well so make sure to check those out turn on your notifications uh, we'll put a link also on those videos so you can see kind of like how we're structuring some of our betting tickets for each of those like seven or eight por pick fours and pick fives for friday and saturday so we thank you for watching and we hope you win big.